it's a hard war to teach. Their experiences in Vietnam took a toll on their life and who they were. So different than World War I and World War II. A known enemy, we were this there for a few years. We won, we had parades. No parades for anybody from Vietnam. Bravo Company engaged in North Vietnamese Army Force. 17 Marines, including my brother, First Lieutenant David Westfall, were killed in action. It's 1968 when the country was starting to turn against the war. We got war weary. They'd give young men a choice, go to jail or join the Army. We only selected certain people. We said some people were more important than others. Why is that? There were a lot of things that Doc and his wife could have done to commemorate their son's death, but to do what they did is quite remarkable. As Doc and Mrs. Westfall were talking about David's death, Mrs. Westfall said, let's build a chapel. Peace and Brotherhood Chapel was dedicated to the memory of and built as a tribute to all those who have given their lives so that others may live. This chapel has been critical to the healing of many, many veterans from all conflicts. I've talked to so many Vietnam veterans who have told me how they struggle walking through the gate. It is a passage of being able to put the pain and the anguish behind them, and this place allows many of those veterans to heal.